Hi, in this video we are going to uh, haircut a character face with Maya fur. Here the uh, rendered sequence. Uh, let's uh, have a look at uh, more closer. The main idea behind uh, this effect is uh, let's create a sphere here. Uh, create a new fur description select uh, basic uh, grass preset from the presets menu uh, decrease the global scale and go to fur uh, feedback shape and increase the U and V samples to see more fur on the viewport this uh, U samples and V sample doesn't affect your render now we have a nice uh, ball with the grass let's uh, go to fur description and into boldness right click and say create new texture select ramp and let's make it black and white let's animate this I'm gonna set key here then move to frame 100 and put 1 now uh, if I uh, from the bake attribute drop down menu if I select boldness and uh, give the map width and height like uh, 1k and select boldness and hit bake it's gonna bake the uh, current uh, map values if I move the timer in a different position like the frame 1 and hit bake again as you can see in our uh, ramp there was there was a black color it, uh, it, it, it reads the uh, UV data on the, on the object based on the uh, values of uh, ramp the black area doesn't get any fur the white area gets uh, fur uh, let's move to another frame and hit bake again as you can see uh, rather than using a simple ramp if we use a file sequence uh, we can uh, interactively see the change so in here uh, we have a animated uh, sequence that I prepared in After Effects or you can use any uh, compositing package you like then I put a simple uh, M particle emitter to the head of the yeah. shave machine so let's uh, let's see the scene here I first uh, uh, increase the size of the UV of the head then I in the in the after effects if I open the project file here is my uh, animated sequence these are the uh, polygon faces that the shave uh, machine goes through so I create a simple uh, mask animation here the white means there will be fur uh, black means the fur is going to be uh, deleted because of the boldness and then he shaved this area so I rendered this uh, sequence as a PNG PNG sequence then in the in the boldness map I have this uh, this sequence here 
because I uh, I hit also use image sequence when I hit bake it's gonna bake uh, from 0 to your latest frame on uh, on your timeline let's hit uh, back again to see the action here here as you can see it starts from 0 to all the way 180 all right uh, the bake operation is complete as you can see when he uh, moved machine on his face the map uh, is going to uh, black in this area and remove the fur from this area after this I also put some uh, length map to his face I uh, shorten the fur in this area I have also some uh, base opacity map but they are more about uh, render not about the effect itself the second thing uh, you can put the particle effect I have uh, like a 40 different uh, fur shape here as you can see I uh, select some vertices and give some uh, non-uniform shape to them and give a simple uh, black shader and I have a very small emitter head in the head of the shave machine if I show all except the knob curves and joints here is my here's my emitter I animate uh, its uh, uh, rate I also put a uh, volume access field to push the particles uh, this side in the y direction and I have also one drag field to control the speed of the particles if I hit play you can see particles go and the fur starts to fall down if I select the instance instance or node you can see it better here are the extra uh, fur particles in order to select the different fur pieces I uh, add all these different uh, all all these uh, different fur pieces to my uh, instance, and for particle to choose different one, I simply add a, a general uh, uh, per particle attribute of the float the name is random select. I create a very basic uh, script for that and particle shape one dot rent select equals to rent uh, rent function uh, ask for two uh, uh, argument uh, this uh, function is going to uh, is going to give us a uh, random number between 0 and 5 0 and 35 so all the uh, fur pieces are different as you can see I also give a, a passive collider to his body and increase the friction and stickness and that way uh, pieces that uh, touch the body uh, they're gonna stick on the surface Uh, that's pretty much all. Thank you for watching.